Hello, in this video I'm going to solve this question which says 2 over 3 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 27 over 8. Let's get into it right away. 2 over 3 to the power of x plus 1 equal to 27 over 8. I'm going to express the fraction on my right hand side in index form because I know that 27 is 3 to the power of 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 and 8 is 2 to the power of 3 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 that means this our exponential equation will become 2 over 3 to the power of s plus 1 equal to 3 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of 3. The fraction on the right hand side, um, the numerator and the denominator have the same power. Therefore, I can write this as 2 over 3 to the power of s plus 1 equal to 3 over 2 to the power of 3. Since both of them, the numerator and the denominator, have the same power. So I can raise the fraction to the power of 3. And this is an exponential equation. To solve an equation like this, we equate the powers if the bases are the same. On the other hand, if the powers are the same, we equate the bases. But if you look at this equation, here we have 2 over 3, but here we have 3 over 2. They are not the same. The bases are not the same. Again, the powers are not the same. But this 3 over 2, I can write it as 3 over 2 can be written as to the power of 3 can be written as 2 over 3 to the power of negative 3. Why negative 3? Oh, there's no space there, let me write it here. So what I'm saying in essence, this 3 over 2, I can write that as 2 over 3 to the power of negative 3. From the law of indices, I say a to the power of negative n is 1 over a to the power of n. That is the law I apply there. So here I have 3 over 2. To turn it to 2 over 3, that is a reciprocal. I have to raise the power to the negative. So the power has to be negative. That means the fraction on the left hand side, which is 3, uh, 2 over 3 rather, to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 2 over 3 to the power of negative. You can see now that the bases are the same. Here I have 2 over 3, here too I have 2 over 3, so I can equate the powers. That means x plus 1 is equal to negative 3. And then moving plus 1 to the other side, I will have x is equal to negative 3. When plus crosses the sign of equality become minus, I have minus 3 minus 1, which is uh, negative 4. So negative 4 is the value of x that satisfies this equation 2 over 3 to the power of x plus 1 equal to 27 over 8. So that brings me to the end of this. I hope you found it useful. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. Also like the video. It's a way of encouraging me to do more. Thank you.